all right guys it's your island girl and i'm back with another reaction video for you today and today we are reacting to the usa versus europe guide to cultural differences so we are going to dive into this one so if you're new to my channel it's the first time here come on in right back put a smile on your face and enjoy this reaction with the island girl don't forget to do what go into the comment section tell me what you'd like me to react to next because it will be done Without further ado, let's get into this bigger. Here we go. Hey there, we are guides from Prague, Czech Hi. Republic, and this is one of our favorite pups. But somebody just recently left a nasty review complaining about the fact that the waiter simply asked them, you want a beer? The waiter brought the beer, and then once the person was finished, they brought another beer, and this guy was complaining about it. What is he talking about? That's the best thing. Once, Once you're finish. finished with your beer, they bring another one. Uh, so for me, from the perspective of a Czech European, that's a good sign. For an American, that may be kind of weird or rude. So today we want to talk about cultural differences between our country, our city, and United States of America. First of all... Yep, they're weird. Weird, 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 weird. <laughs> the things that... Oy. Don't get me started. Well, you may be surprised what the beer looks like. Well, we have a video dedicated only to that. And second, when I walked in, I didn't look at a beer menu or something that may be quite common in the United States where you have different beers on tap. Most pubs and restaurants in what? Czech Republic will have one brewery on tap in the pub. So that's why you can walk in and just say, oh. Sorry, Apple. Did he just say one? One? Are you guys serious? One? Here, there's a million one to choose from. You don't even know what to drink. You're confused. Ah, you're confused as they come. That is crazy. Can and just say, I'll have one. I'll have so one. So I kind of like wow. that. You walk into a pub and you don't have million choices. You just say one. In Tell US, me about not it. only you have a choice of beers that are on tap. Quite often there is five, ten, twenty. But also they will ask you, do you want draft or oh, bottle? What kind of question is that? The reason you go to a pub is to get beer on tap, to get draft beer. If you want bottled beer, you go to a supermarket. So True. for us, that's a big cultural difference that quite often we don't understand. That is definitely a cultural difference. Definitely. Wow. Now a beer here costs 55 crowns. Let's call that $2.50 to round it up. If you go to a stadium, to a sports event here in Prague, it's gonna cost around $3. Well, nothing like that in US. If you go- Did he just say $2, $3 for beer, even when you go to a stadium? You got to be kidding me. I tell you, I'm moving. <laughs> I'm moving. Go to a pub, it may cost five, six dollars. Yes. You go to a stadium and it can cost 10, 15, even 20 dollars. Yep. Honza hates it. Whenever he goes to a sports event, he's always shocked with the price of the beer. I myself, when I travel to US, I usually don't go to uh, sports events, but I like amusement parks. And just recently, I visited Universal Studios. It was the most expensive beer I ever had in my life. Say it again. 15 dollars. I could not believe it. Now, I understand that going to amusement park, you don't go there for beer, you go there for the rides, but still $15? It was insane. They're losing their dog on mine. Not to mention a bottle of water. <laughs> a bottle of water, five, six, seven, even $10 for a bottle of water that they can get for a couple cents. <laughs> these people are crazy. When you go to these events, crazy, I say, crazy. Difference, cultural difference indeed. Woo. Why did I do Insane that? Insane indeed. Also, fun fact, I did not take a picture of the beer, but I did take a picture <laughs> of the receipt. Now, the price of the beer, the as receipt. I said at the amusement park, was $15. But I was asked to pay more than $16. Yep. Why? It said 15 Well, tax was not included. <laughs> what is this about? Tax. We go to a place, and I'm not only talking restaurants, but any store shop, and the price tag is the final price you pay. It says 55 here, it's gonna cost 55. They include the tax. Why oh, don't you do wow. that in US? It's just sad. I, mean I love it. The final price includes the amount. I'm all for that. Ain't 
include the dog on talks in the amount. You tell you $15 on when you look. There's extra there to be paid. Mom? Yeah, Bambi. Can I drink the juice? Yes, you can have a pineapple juice. Ask Sean or Xavier to open it, please. Thank you. There it goes. Imagine me, I'm 11 years old, I have my first dollar ever, and I walk into a dollar store, looking forward to buy something for a dollar. <laughs> I pick up the item, go to the register, dollar uh, fifty. What? It's a dollar store, everything costs a dollar, not dollar store plus tax. Exactly. <laughs> now let's switch from drinks to food. In any place wow. you can get some food, right? Uh, mostly you pick something from the menu and no further questions will be food. asked. Well, in US, quite often they will ask yep. you how you want to customize. Do you want bacon? Do you want that cheese? Do you want this mm -hmm. cheese? Do you want this or that and that? It gets quite confusing for us. And you can imagine me being 11 years old in US, in New Jersey, first walking to a restaurant, ordering a burger, very much looking forward to it. And they ask me, how do you want your burger done? I said, I don't know, very well done. Thinking that they would make it completely. Yeah, you can imagine what happened. They brought this black piece of meat that was <laughs> unedible. And all my friends had a laugh about it. Now, to be fair, if you go to a restaurant in Prague nowadays uh, and you will have a burger, they will ask you how you want it done. But once again, the, the fact that you can customize anything at a restaurant in the US is very uncommon for us here. So if you come to a pub or a restaurant in Czech Republic, don't expect that you can customize every single item on the menu. That's why there's a menu with things that you pick from. I really hope we didn't lose our subscribers. Isn't that something? That is crazy. In the US, oh yes, you can customize anything. Don't want an onion? Take that mayonnaise off, lift the tomato, put the tomato on, put some bacon, put... Yeah, it's all over the place. A menu is a menu, in my eyes. Yeesh. First from United States, we love you guys. Uh, so to uh, say something that we consider to be amazing in the US that we don't have here is water free water at a restaurant, at a bar, anywhere. You sit down at a table and in US, you get a glass of water. Yep. It never happens in the Czech Republic ever. Not only that, if you ask for tap water, quite often they will say, no, 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 we don't serve tap water. And you will get a tiny little bottle of water that you will pay for two, three, four dollars. It's ridiculous. I know a restaurant where I go to, and I will always say, can I get uh, tap water? And they're like, no, we can't do that. We can only sell you a bottle. And I quite often say, I'll pay you the same price that I'll pay for the bottle for tap water. Like, no, we can't do that. Crazy. Are you guys serious? You can't get a cup of free water to drink? Are you serious? You gotta be kidding anywhere in the US. May I have some water, please? Wow, no, that's a shocker. That's a shocker, shocker, shocker. Oh, wow. Now let's talk about service Services. in restaurants and service. pubs because that may be a bit of a shock for you when you come to Prague. Okay. Uh, yes, quite often it is rude and not polite at all. That's also a huge difference for us when we go to US and um, a waitress will come to our table and she will introduce herself and she will smile and she will maybe recommend something from the menu. That would never happen here. I mean, it's changing, don't get me wrong. Uh, service is getting better. Are you better. guys serious? Like if you go to like a local place, a dive bar, which I would consider this place to be, quite often they'd be grumpy and it takes a long time for them to get to know you. And after maybe a 20th visit, they will share a little smile with you. Not what? like in US. First time visitor, oh, I love seeing coming you to our restaurant. My name is Wendy, can I take your order? <laughs> hey, Wendy. Speaking of Wendy, when I was first called Darling or Honey in a restaurant in US, I was like, they, she really loves me. She just called me <laughs> Darling. I like that. I mean, I, I like the bartender here, but he never calls me Darling. <laughs> I, I, let's, let's make it stay that way, okay? We're tough guys. Even Okay, service, that is crazy. You have to be pleasant, you have to be nice. It's, it's, people go somewhere to feel homely, to feel good, not to have an attitude, not to see no grumpy person serving. Come on, you guys, come on.
Though the two of us consider the service at places in the United States very good and very nice and very polite, Thank there is you. one thing I'll that we back. consider True. to be very rude. And that is, you're finishing your meal or maybe you're halfway through and suddenly a bill lands on oh. your table. What is that? Are you kicking me out? That would never happen here. Any business, restaurant, pub, coffee place tries to keep you in the place as long as possible. You're done with your meal, they'll offer you a dessert. You're done with your dessert, they will offer you coffee. You're done with your coffee, maybe you want to start over and have another appetizer. In other words, they want to keep you in as long as possible. You have to ask for the bill. In US, very often, you're halfway through, here's your bill. I'm like, well, maybe I want another something. No, 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 the bill is already on the table. Just weird. Speaking of the... I'm all for that. You're sitting down eating, you see a bill. Now, they don't know if you need dessert. They don't know if you want to eat something else. They don't know if you want to add extra stuff. You see a bill. I'll go with Prague for that. Keep the bill. Keep me as long. Try to keep me as long as you want. Try to take my money from me. That's the whole point of me coming out and eating and enjoying myself. I'm all for that. That's Bill, a good let's idea. dive into tipping. tipping. And that can create some big tipping. issues because that's a big cultural difference. In US, quite often we get asked, do you want to tip 15, 18, 20, <laughs> 25%? Yep. Which for us is like, whoa, that's a lot. A quarter of the bill just tips uh, because it's a tip based country or tip based business. In Czech, that used to be very, very different. I mean, my dad would only round up the bill to the next higher number. Oh, if wow. the bill was 99, he would round it up to 100. I believe most of our dads and mothers still do that. Nowadays, it's changing even here and tipping goes from 10% higher if you're satisfied with the service. If the service is really bad, some people will simply not tip. If that would happen in US that you would not leave a single cent on a tip, I've experienced people running out the restaurant and be like, what happened? What did we do wrong? Like, why did you not tip? So tipping is very, very different. And I'm curious what you will uh, say about that in the comments. Where, whatever country you're from, I want to read what's the average <laughs> tipping in your country. I can get the tipping, all right? Where the tipping is concerned, it's based to me, the way I tip. It's based on serve. If you serve me nicely and I enjoy myself and you're there, I'll tip. If the service is crappy, you ain't getting a dollar from me. Not even a dollar. So for me, I think that's a better way in tipping. Yeah. Now this cultural difference is not only huge, but it's, I consider it to be evil. And that is packaging. Packaging. and garbage in general. I'm not talking about if you go to a place where it's a takeout or you go to a fast food. Yes, they put it in a paper bag, either if you're in US or here. But I'm talking about if you go to a restaurant and they create so much garbage, so much waste, even yeah. though you're at a restaurant. Quick example. Mostly if you get a drink at a bar in the US, they put a napkin under it. So yeah. it soaks the moist that's running under it. Well, that's for mm -hmm. one use only. Afterwards, they will throw away the napkin. How about they use coasters? Because you can reuse the coaster. And that's just one very simple example. Another one is if you order a ketchup at this place, they will bring it either a bottle, some places in the US do that too, or they put it in a um, ceramic cup container. that they clean afterwards. Not that they grab 20 ketchups and throw them next to your burger. Or even in McDonald's in Czech Republic, you pay for every single tiny packaging of any sauce, any ketchup. What? So you think about if you want one or two. In US, uh, yeah, can I get some ketchup? Here you go, here's a million ketchups in tiny little bags. No, don't do that. I mean, you guys are going all Michael Bay packaging. Like, hey, yeah, that's a plastic bag. Let's put it in a paper bag and let's put more packaging and pack it up. You want it to go? Yeah, let's pack it up more. Whew. I can understand packaging. Yes, give me my 10 packets of... <laughs> give me my 10 packets of ketchup, mustard, relish, I'm not paying for it. I'm already paying for the meal. <laughs> I'm aside with US on this one. I'm sorry, no. In the meanwhile in Europe, yeah, let's, let's get rid of plastic straws. They really destroy the universe. What, There's the going to be one hell of a discussion under this video. <laughs> I absolutely love you guys from US and I love going to US, just so you know, we both do. Please don't cancel my Esther. <laughs> Now let's drop the beer for a minute and let's talk about coffee and coffee culture coffee. differences between USA and Europe.
triggered already, well, you'll get triggered more. Yes, in Europe, we do not consider this to be a cup of coffee. That's a gallon <laughs> of coffee. If it's more than a gallon, it's not coffee. This is a cup of coffee. By the way, shocker, they have a cup of coffee in this pup. Uh, it's served in a <laughs> ceramic cup. It's this size. Wow. You have a plate under it. It makes that little noise when you put it down. Softer. You sometimes yeah. even get a spoon with it so you can mix your little espresso. And this is how you drink it. Not a gallon. Doesn't fit in your car so you can drive and sip <laughs> on your little coffee soup throughout the day. Big difference, big shocker for us when we go to places in US and they simply don't serve something like this. Hold your horses. I know that coffee culture in the US is changing depending on which state you live in, if you live in a city and so on, but still mostly people think this is coffee and you cannot get this. It's sad for us Europeans. Can I get a cup of coffee? You want venti grande, grande XL, grande XXXXL. Like the Italians drink it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Now this next. I know I'll be slaughtered for this one, but coffee is overrated. Let me explain why before you slaughter me. <laughs> I don't drink coffee. I've never had coffee in my life. I have no clue what coffee tastes like. All right. So here we are. Do you want this? Do you want that? Oh, that's too much to choose from. Just black. I hear some people say black roasted or some look this is just too much coffee coffee that's it just just give me some coffee that's it <laughs> give somebody some coffee there's just too much and i get what he's saying i'm all for that little bit that little wincy wincy cup of coffee what they're calling coffee with them cups them jugs that's just too much too much but that's just me like i said i don't drink coffee know nothing about coffee so, ha, don't come for me. Now this next cultural difference may sound weird, but it? I believe it should be addressed. And that is restrooms, restrooms. and toilet sizes uh, in restaurants and pubs. And I'm not talking about the actual seat size, but I'm talking about you have a big pub and there's one toilet. There's like one restroom for the entire pub where there's like hundreds of yep. people. And the stalls where you can like sit to do number two, are very like see-through like there's no privacy <laughs> like there's no door at the bottom yep. like if somebody peeks they can see you yeah it's kind of strange and girls talk about that a lot both our girls talk about it how like it's kind of weird that people can really uh see you so that's a big difference if there's a big pub here it has many oh, restrooms wow. many toilets and it can you know, uh, do the business people need and accommodate many people at the same time. I'm all and of for course, that. the ones we mentioned are not the only cultural differences between our continents. There's many more. We can talk about uh, different units. We can talk about different forms of transportation, oh, yeah. how we move around cities and countries, how big are our cars and your cars, and many more topics. So let us know in the comments if you want us to cover more topics. And while you're there, please don't be mad at us. This was not made to insult you, only to give you perspectives on our culture habits and, and your cultural culture. habits that we experience when we go over to your lovely continent that we love to visit. But sometimes we're just like, huh. huh. That's, That's weird. weird. <laughs> We're the honest dudes from Prague. That dude's name is Honza. My name is Janek. We go by the Honest Guide, honest our channel guide. full of content. So if you're planning to come to Prague, Europe. Uh okay, guys, there you have it. The Honest Guide. That's where I got this from. Now he's right. There's so many cultural differences uh, that you can pinpoint here from what he just stated not to mention me coming from jamaica and living here for so long the different the cultural difference is crazy 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 but i love the fact that they have crazy bathroom space you need it you can't have thousands of people i have one stall and then you see oh it is so so uncomfortable with that said it's your island girl <laughs> and i'm running out of here some of these are definitely i ain't gonna lie they are shockers to me they're definitely shockers i'm like really but i'm li i'm living and i'm learning aren't we 
thank you guys for watching don't forget to go forget to go into the comment section tell me what you like me to react to next because it will be done also guys if you wish to follow me over on patreon the link will be in the description below as i do have some comedies over there something for you to enjoy and you can put your request over there as well it will be done because whatever i have blocked on here we will be going on patreon so i love you guys and i'll catch you guys in another video i'm moving <laughs>